do the clinical heating process to start off from this position. Okay, that is eccentric to center. Now, to test the left side, we need to make a leftward movement. To test the right side, we need to make a rightward movement. So, before you do my leftward movement, you need to start from this eccentric position. So, in the eccentric position, the head is eccentric, looks straight at minus. So, eye within the orbit is eccentric. The nose is pointed towards it. So, the head is eccentric, eye in the orbit is eccentric. What we are looking for is, when the head reaches the center, the eye also should have reached the center. Eye should not come to the center later. If the eye comes to the center after the head reaches the center, that is abnormal. So, I hold like this, ask the patient all the time to look at the tip of your nose. Then, with the movement of the wrist, do one very fast movement. Yes. So, hold like this, do this. So, I am starting from the right eccentric position, but doing a left word movement. Left word movement test the left sided canal. For testing the right sided canal, we do this. We do this. Mistakes commonly. People do this and they do this. They do this and this. This is wrong. Because if you do that, you don't have enough time to look for what has happened to the patient after the head has stopped. The idea here is to look for what has happened to the eyes after the head comes to a stop. Now, if you do this, then you don't have an opportunity to do this. So, always that is wrong. So, this is the wrong technique. This is the wrong technique. So, please, the correct technique is start off from this eccentric question and do this. Start off from the eccentric question and do this. Most of common question. If you start from the eccentric position, the patient already knows which side you are going to turn. Is that not going to bring the amount of predictability? It does not matter because VOR is a reflex response. So, predictability does not matter for reflex responses. So, just start off here and you go like this. That is the left side. Start from here, go like this. This and this. It has to be this fast. Okay, this, this rapid it should be. Looks straight. This is how it should be. Doing slowly, kindly will not be beneficial. This is not fast. This is not fast enough. This is not fast enough. This is not fast enough. The speed is old like this. This speed. This speed. What is wrong? This is wrong. This is the wrong technique. Do you want to start from center and go in like this? That is also okay. Now the interpretation changes. Here the interpretation would be head center, eye center. When the head goes eccentric, I should have reached eccentric position. That's that is how it's supposed to. This is center to eccentric technique. But I prefer the eccentric to center technique. In eccentric to center technique, when you are doing this, you are testing the left side. In center to eccentric, if you do this, you are testing the left side. Because what we are seeing is which word movement, not from where you started. Whether you start from here, still you are going to the left. So left is being tested. Whether you start from here, still you are going to the left. So left is being tested. If you start from here to the right, if you start from here to the right. So these are all right word tests. So, this is a demonstration of how to do the head impulse test and how not to do it. Okay. So, like for example, now you have to test the right side. The original way in which it was described was eccentric to center. Eccentric to center means the eye is placed on, the head, head goes to eccentric position and the person is asked to look at, point at the examiner's nose. So, examiner is sitting straight in front and the uh, patient is instructed to look at the examiner's nose. Now, what happens is, the head is eccentric, eyes are eccentric, head is not center, this is center, when you begin head is eccentric, so it is not center, it is eccentric. So you have to remember this point, head is eccentric, within the orbit, eye is eccentric, it is not in the center. When the person is looking straight ahead, we say that the head is straight, eyes within the orbit is straight. The starting position is not that, the starting position is here where the head is eccentric and look at look at my nose. Okay. When the person's so vision is looking straight ahead at the examiner's nose, then you see that the eye is eccentric. This is the starting position. From here, you hold the head and with a mu movement, very quick movement of the wrist is when we make this. Now, at right at the moment when the head reaches the center, right at the moment when the head reaches the center, the head has become central, head has become central, the eye within the orbit is central. You began with head being eccentric and the eye being eccentric here. You ended with head being central, eye being central. 
at the moment when the head comes to the center, if the eye is in the center, then the canal being tested is normal. Here we are making a right look here. We are making a rightward movement. So when you are making a rightward movement, the right lateral canal of the patient is being tested. If you make a leftward movement, you go to the right. Now to test the left lateral canal, you have to make the leftward movement. So how do you do? You start off with this head eccentric. I is eccentric in the orbit. You hold like this and you do this. So at the right at the moment when the head stops, the eye also has come to the center, which means this side canal because this was a left word movement. This was a left word movement. So for the left word movement, when the head stops, even the eye has by then the eye has reached the center. If that is not the case, there is going to be a delay. So this is at normal uh, speed recording. If you do it in a slow motion recording, you can actually see the difference. So the next video will be a slow motion recording. Looks right. Okay, so